From KPRC2, this is Houston Newsmakers with Cambrell Marshall. We start this morning with a bird's eye view of the George Ranch in Fort Bend County. This is almost 22,000 acre area, just part of the portfolio of the George Foundation, which has been in existence for 77 years. Its mission has been to positively impact Fort Bend County and its residents, and the grants and scholarships they've given well, total close to $280 million. And now the George Foundation has found itself at odds with the Fort Bend County Commissioner's Court because of its decisions regarding the future path of the planned latest segment at the Grand Parkway. Roger Adamson is the CEO of the George Foundation and joins me now. Uh, good morning, uh, George. What is your concern? The main concern. By the way, good to see you. Yeah. Good morning, Cambrell. Thanks for having having me on. Yeah. Um, so our, our 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 concern is 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 really threefold. I would say first, um, the uh, the George Foundation has spent uh, 25 years planning um, uh, for a segment C of the Grand Parkway. Um, in the in the uh, the route of the Grand Parkway was memorialized in the 2013 record of decision from the Federal Highway Commission. So, with that uh, with that uh, environmental approval of the alignment, we have been working toward that uh, for uh, for 25 years. Mm -hmm. um, the second piece um, that is of concern to us is that uh, you know the foundation we had offered. Um, over 14 miles of right of way, um, free of car charge, no cost to the taxpayers, no cost to Fort Bend County. Um, and uh, the, the, in Fort Bend County, uh, never acknowledged, never responded, um, zero communication over really an 18 month period uh, with the foundation's offer for that. Was, was, it, was that offer contingent upon anything? Was it contingent upon a certain route? Or correct. Something? Yeah, it was contingent upon the record of decision alignment that I mentioned before. And then um, the, also uh, the alignment of uh, the Fort Bend Parkway, um, which would uh, w which um, would have the key intersection of those two roads located um, on foundation property, which creates a trend tremendous amount of value mm -hmm. um, it, it to support our charitable mission. And, and, and our real estate assets are really important to the foundation um, because we have uh, an investment portfolio, stocks, bonds, um, but also um, real estate assets that account for about 40% of our uh, of our asset base that we use to fund our charitable mm -hmm. mission. Mm -hmm. And so um, this tremendous amount of value um, will allow us to monetize um, uh, our real estate assets to support our charitable mission. So I've got a, a map, it's this star map that kind of shows some of the proposed areas we're talking about. This is <clears throat> area and the, the, where those areas cross is where the Fort Bend Tollway and the Grand Parkway. Grand Parkway comes from the north in this map. Mm -hmm. And that crossing is kind of where you want, it's in the George Ranch property in that area there. Correct. And, yes, sir. And, Correct. And so now there's a different scenario. Yeah, there is. That the Fort Bend commissioners have decided to do another one. I have a map of that as well, which shows, if we can pull that up, it shows a different scenario mm -hmm. where the crossing of those is now down outside of the Fort, of the greater, of your foundation area and into the area where a developer's got a property there. Correct. So we have no, no response to the offer for the 14 miles of free right of way. Um, the next thing we know, um, again, was zero communication, was that an agreement was reached which essentially um, abandons the 2013 record of decision uh, alignment for the Grand Parkway and the environmental clearance and transfers um, the key intersection from the George Foundation property to the adjacent property. Mm -hmm. And um, we've done some estimates um, on this uh, in terms of the value of that and, um, you know, a future value of about half a billion dollars, and that's a billion with a B. And so that's why, that's our primary concern of the three concerns is this tremendous transfer of value, really a complete right. 180 with no communication. So, but that, and what that does is the value you're talking about is your property, which increases in value, which is what makes up a part of your portfolio, which Correct. lets you then contribute back to the community, because that's what you do, you contribute to the community. Correct, yes, sir. So I, what are you hearing from the Fort Bend County Commissioners about any of this? 
Absolutely nothing. So no, con they other than your opportunity to make presentations to commissioners' court, did they, they ask questions then, or they just accepted your presentation? They did feedback about moving it at all? So we, not not at all, Cambria. I mean, the only opportunity that I had was in public comments uh, prior to the hearing uh, to change the, M the the major thoroughfare plan, and and there were no not a word, a single word spoken um, or a single question asked during uh, during those hearings, and so. Um, and, and also, if I can say, uh, as, a, as a charitable trust, as a private foundation, uh, we're prohibited from lobbying. And, mm -hmm. so, um, and so we obviously adhere to those guidelines. So it's really restrict our ability to, to, uh, to communicate with commissioner's court. But we also know that they're you know, well aware of the offer for the free right of way. So uh, just so people know, I did reach out to commissioner's court to get some feedback. And I got the same response you got, which was no comment. I did. They, they did. Uh, give me some other people to talk to. I haven't heard back from them. I did see the county engineering office did make a formal recommendation to the commissioner's court, and that had some movement. I don't know if this was specific to your issues or not, but I have the letter here. But they said that, and I quote, to adjust the roadway alignment and relocate the intersection of the proposed toll roads approximately one mile south of the current location. Now, was that the movement, or was that something separate? Was that a separate movement? Uh, I believe I believe that is the movement, and, and again, that's uh, where. Uh, the uh, agreement to abandon that 2013 record decision did uh, move the alignment of the Grand Parkway mm -hmm. south of George Foundation owned property. So I, we've got more to talk about. I want to continue this conversation on Newsmakers Extra because in addition to what the Commissioner's Court has not said, I know that they had asked some sort of, if you groups Signorelli is the company, the real estate company, yeah. ask you two groups to come together, maybe try to work out some kind of compromise. Mm -hmm. I want to talk about that sure, on my absolutely. Newsmakers Extra. And what else is in store for you? How are you going to move forward, depending on how this all works out? So thank you for that. We're going to do that on Newsmakers Extra. I hope that you'll stay with me. I know you will. Roger Adamson, thank you. Uh, for the benefit of the community, I hope this all works out to everyone's satisfaction, because you do great, great work. And a big development could help the community as well. We'll Thanks, see what Carol. happens with all that.